Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will discuss how to do k-fold cross validation in linear regression model in nine. In case of regression analysis, we are having one dependent variable and many independent variables. Dependent and independent variable both are on continuous scale. The example of the continuous scale is weight, blood pressure and height. The basic assumption here is that the relationship between dependent and independent variables should be linear. This means that we are trying to find out the effect of weight on blood pressure or in other words, with the increase in weight, does the blood pressure changes or not. Now, what is a cross validation? Basically, it is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. I'll explain this entire concept on the next two slides. We can also say it is a technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. Say for example, we are having a data set here, which we will divide it into training and testing data. To find out the base parameters, this training data will be used for running the model. And by running this model using the cross validation technique, we will find out the base parameters. This base parameters will be re again inserted in the model and the model will be retrained. This retrained model will be used to test the testing data set and the final evaluation will be, will be done. Now, how the cross validation is being done, let us try to understand. The entire gray color is your all data, which will be divided into training and testing data. The green one is a training and blue one is a testing data. Say for example, if we are having 100 observations, then if we are going to use five folds, it means that each fold will have 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20 observations. So uh, we uh, normally 10 folds are being used. So it is known as a 10 fold cross validation technique. After folding is being done in first split one, the fold one will become the testing data and the remaining fold two, three, four, five will become the training data. The model will be trained and the parameters will be estimated. In split two, now this will become fold two and again, remaining will become, uh, that is fold two will become the testing data and remaining will become the training data. By doing this for number of times, we will be able to find out the best parameters and the, this thing, best parameters will be, will be, we will be able to find out the best parameters and on that basis, we'll do the final evaluation of the testing data. Now, how we can do this? Let's see in NIME Analytics platform. So, first of all, I'll activate input output. In that, I'll activate Excel Reader. I'll double click on it, browse the data set. I've activated the Excel Reader because my data set is in Excel format. I'll connect empty cards, apply, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. You can see the mileage of the vehicle, number of cylinders, displacement, horsepower of the vehicle, displacement rate, weight of the vehicle, Q set, vertical or straight engine, automatic or manual, number of gears, and number of carburetors. We want to find out what are the factors, what are the variables which influences the mileage of the vehicle. Now we want to carry out the cross validation. So for this, we will use X partitioner activated. It's a it's a node available in cross validation. Right click on it and configure. So you can see it is by default the number of validations are 10. You can see here number of validations are Make sure that you activate the stratified sampling or the sampling is to be done on the basis of our target variable MPG. Apply. Click OK. Now right click on it and execute. Done. The part, the k-fold cross validation has started. Now activate the regression learner from here. Right click on it, configure. We are making the MPG as our target variable, MPG. Remove all of them and include only horsepower and weight. Click 
go okay right click on it and execute again right click on it and you can see view linear regression plots from here that how uh, this is a reg linear regression line which we are trying to fit on this data set is it fitting well or not we can check it from here anyway again right click on it and see the coefficient and statistics if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 this means that all these variables are significantly contributing towards a dependent variable now what will be our model let's try to understand suppose the same thing i have tried to copy it here and if we try to interpret this then our regression model will be the mileage of the vehicle is 37.227 this is constant minus 3.878 into the weight minus 0 0.032 into the horsepower with increase in the weight by one unit the mileage of the vehicle decreases by one one unit that is, uh, sorry, if the weight increases by 1 unit, the mileage decreases by minus 3.8.78 unit. If horsepower increases by 1 unit, the mileage decreases by minus 0 0.032. So, this is a model which has been created. Now, what's the next thing which we have to do? Let's uh, close this. Again, we will go back here. We'll activate regression predictor from here. disconnect this and I'll connect this with this configure make sure custom prediction column name is on click OK then execute now again right click on it and see the predicted data so you can see here the mileage and the predicted data right Now we will have to activate X aggregator. This is there in cross validation only. X aggregator. Connect this. Right click on it. Configure. So here the target column is MPG. Prediction column is MPG. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now, doing a fold cross validation has our model improved or not? We will have to do. We will have to evaluate this. So, right click on it and see the prediction table. So, this is our mileage, and this is our prediction data. Predicted data. Now, again, right click on it, and you can see the error rates. That what are the error rates in each fold? Is it increasing, decreasing? Where the error is more? But to evaluate the model, we will have to activate the numeric score. Configure. Make this as a mileage because we are comparing the raw data, the original data with the predicted data. Change column name. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the statistics. So you can see. That the R square and adjusted R square are 0.779. They are more than 0.7. It means that the model is having explanatory power of 70 not 77.9%, which is considered to be quite good. Moreover, the error rates, that is mean absolute error, and all of that are below 10, which is also quite good. So this is the way you can do. K-fold cross validation in NIME. For more videos on NIME, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on